Hello my friends, today we are on Luminar Neo and in the, today's tutorial we will learn how to turn on lights. We will turn on this street light, let me just show you the before. So this was the before, this is the after, before and after and we will also turn on car lights. Let me show you this image. This is the before and after, before and after. So let's see how we create this kind of effect. I'm going to go into edit and first I will revert to original so we can start from the beginning. This image was taken during the day but uh, we have to make it look like night. So first we will go to develop and we'll turn the exposure down something like that to pretend as it almost night time. Now I want to mask off this uh, effect from the light post. So I am going to go command plus to zoom in. And then with my brush, I will erase uh, softness. I will take it down to about 25. And we will just erase this effect from my light post. Something like that. And something like that. Great. Uh, I went a little bit too far over here, so I will fix that. And let's see command zero to fit to screen. That is looking great. Now I am going to go to adjustment and that was a little bit, eh, something like that is good. All right, let's move into the effect. For creating this effect, we will use glow. And with glow, we will keep it on soft focus. We'll increase the amount to 100%. We'll open the advanced setting. We will soften it to maybe about 44% and we'll increase the brightness to about 60% and now we will paint it with the brush so we only create this effect around this light. Something like that. And that looks better. I will close the glow and I will open it again and this time I will still keep it to soft focus. I will increase the amount to maybe 57 softness, I'll go to 100% to give it more glow and brightness, just a little bit, maybe 38. And this time, you guessed it, with the brush, we will paint in this effect just on the light. Now, let's look at it for a second. Maybe I'll spill a little bit more. Maybe I'll just spill a little bit more. There you go. That looks like a nice glowy effect. Now... I want to make this light more yellow, kind of like these lights that are coming from the building. Maybe not as yellow, but something similar to that. So I will close the glow and this time I will go to toning. I will choose my highlights because this is bright. This is highlights. And then I will put the amount to 100%, saturation to 100% and choose a light, a golden light. Something like that looks good to me. And then I can reduce the amount and the saturation to something that looks believable. And now you guessed it, we will just mask it. Maybe I will use a radial gradient for this. I will just paint it over here onto the light. Great. Oh, I think we we're supposed to invert it. That was wrong. Let's go back to our edit. And you see the mask, the mask that we did. We can go and invert it and now we are applying the color to the light, not the background. Go back into tools and let's see our image so far. This is the before, this is the after, before and after. And the light maybe is a little bit bright so we'll go into our edits, we'll go to the first glow, maybe decrease the amount to 50%. We'll go to the second glow and decrease a little bit the amount as well. And there you go, now it looks a little bit more believable. Usually when you have a light like this, it will cast some light on your wall. So we will work on that by using a brush into the adjustment. I will increase the exposure. And then with the brush, I will paint it just on this wall because light would be casting on here. So I will just paint something like that. Then I'll make my brush a little bit bigger and strength only at 50% just to feather this edge a little bit. There you go. And then maybe erase what I painted too much on this side. And now we have our lighten 
wall but we want to copy the mask so if we go into mask and we'll go to action we can copy it and now we can go back into toning to turn it more that golden look so i have it in highlights increase the amount um i'll increase the saturation to 100 i'll choose a golden light something like that decrease the saturation a little bit go to masking mask action and paste it so now it's only making golden the light that is over here so this is our before and after before and after let's see our whole image this is our before and after before and after and i think that looks great let's move into the next example which is the car i am going to open it and go to edit and this is our before and after i am going to revert to original so we can do this edit from the beginning just like in the street light photo first we have to turn down the exposure to pretend it's nighttime so i'll turn it to something like this and then i will mask it if i go to ai mask hopefully we'll recognize the car make my masking a lot faster and easier so let's see how it does by the way, I saw a lot of people using the mask AI and making tutorials about it, but they all use structure or some sort of um, effect adjustment that you can't really see if the mask is good or not. When you just apply structure or clarity or anything like that, you just don't really see how bad the mask is. But by really taking down the exposure, then you will see exactly um, how the mask works. So for this example, I'll click on transport. And it selected our car. It kind of messed up a little bit in here, but that's okay. And then I want to go to mask action and invert it because I want to darken the surroundings, not the car. And you see we have this kind of haloing. It didn't do so great of a job. But that's okay because I'll take a brush with a um, bigger size. And I will just kind of paint this effect just a little bit on the edges to feather it. So we don't get that really, you know, stark contrast. There you go. Something like that. And now it blends in a little bit better. Our exposure is good. Let's go on to apply the effect to the lights. So I'll go to glow, soft focus. I'll increase the amount to 100% um, and brightness. I'll brighten it up a little bit. And now masking, I will just use a brush and softly pa paint right on the lights, something like that. Maybe even go a little bit outside. And uh, let's see, this is the before and after. It's starting to look good. I will close the glow and then I will open the glow again. And I will add some more. Let's see, this time we'll go about 50%, but I'll increase the softness just to blur a little bit on the outside. We'll increase the brightness. And then with the mask, we will just paint with the brush on the lights itself, something like that. Let's see the edit so far. This is before and after, before and after. Maybe we'll do it just one more time, just for fun. So soft focus, I'll increase the amount, softness to 100%. I'll keep the brightness the way it is. And this time I will just brush it just to feather it a little bit on the outside, something like that. Now that we have our glow effect, we have to make this color a little bit maybe warmer tone. So I will go to toning increase to 100%, pick highlights, go saturation 100%, pick a golden color that you think it will work for this car. I'll go with this and then decrease the saturation a little bit. And with masking, I will brush it. Uh, I'll brush this effect and just onto the lights, something like that. So let's see our edit so far. This is our before and after, before and after. If you feel like you went too far, as I usually do, just go into each one of your glows and reduce the amount. That way you'll kind of tone it down a little bit. So something like that. So let's see now. This is our effect before and after, before and after. And I show how to create this effect before using a lens flare that I um, gave you away in one of my tutorials. But this uh, one of my subscribers who did um, ask for this tutorial wanted to see how we can do it with uh, using brushes and the tools that we have on Luminar Neo. So there you go. I created this tutorial. I hope you learned something new and this will be useful into your future editing. My name is Kyler Ewing. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.